everybody, hope you're doing well. Um, so I mentioned in yesterday's video when I was talking about being in the brain tumour trap that I've kind of got myself out of the brain tumour trap but I'm now in the sinus or nasal cancer trap. So, <laughs> um, it's, a bit in a, it's a bit of a obscure cancer. Um, there's like 400 cases um, diagnosed a year in the UK, um, mostly in men over the age of 55. Yet yeah, here I am, convinced that I have it. Um, but basically, I'm sure there are other people on my channel that have had the same worry. People who have sinus problems or something wrong with their nose. So let me just give you a brief overview of why I have come to the conclusion of sinus or nasal cancer. So I've spoken about this in quite a lot of my videos, but I've been getting this pain by here for about a month now. Get tingling behind my eye, tingling down this nostril, sometimes get a headache by here, and this uh, ear gets blocked. And this nose, uh, this nose, this nostril um, is blocked quite a lot. I don't have any symptoms on the other side of my face, okay? None. None whatsoever. So I feel like I have hay fever here and just here. So I would be quite happy if I started to get symptoms on the other side of my face because then I'd be able to get rid of this sinus or nasal cancer fear that I have at the moment. So what happened was, is I was having all of this kind of pain and pressure and as I was saying um, on the one side of my face and I googled and honestly I actually googled because I was trying to be sensible because I was trying to convince myself that it was just sinus related right so I googled it and this is the problem with googling is you google something innocent and then you end up reading something that gets you in a right mess so I somehow stumbled upon sinus and nasal cancer and I started to read the symptoms and this is what it said okay uh, blocked nose on one side blocked ear on one side pain on one side of the face headache one-sided and pain in one eye so you imagine now right how I felt after reading that like I was a mess a mess like I'm talking panic attack after panic attack like, not sleeping, like, real, real bad, okay? So, that's what I've been dealing with for the past month. Now, I'm trying to stay logical here, because from what I've read about sinus and nasal cancer, the blocked nostril is always blocked, and it gets worse. Now, mine does unblock. So, if I use, like, a nasal spray, or sometimes at night, if I lay on this side the blocked nose will go to that side. But I would say 95% of the time, it's on this side. So that reassures me, because I think to myself, right, Sherelle, get your thinking cap on now. If you had a big tumour in your sinuses or your nasal cavity, it's not going to unblock. Do you know what I mean? So that is the only thing that kind of keeps me sane, is that it unblocks. Um... I, I basically, I've booked in with a, to see an ENT because I've been to the doctor like three times with this issue now. And my doctor, bless her, she's lovely, but she's just sending me off. Like, she's not, she's not going to refer me, I can, I can just tell. Like, she's just, she's like, no, it's fine. Like, sometimes you can get one-sided sinus problems. And I'm like, yeah, Google tells me different. Um, so I decided to go private. Anyway, this ENT appointment, which I'm having uh, next Monday, so just over a week, is going to cost me 150 quid. But you know what? That 150 quid is worth it for my sanity right now because I just can't shake this obsession of me having sinus cancer. Um, I'm hoping, what my hope is, is that they tell me that I've got maybe like a deviated septum, so maybe this nostril is like thinner at the top and maybe that's why it gets blocked. Or, you know, maybe there's a polyp up here, like, and they can give me some like spray to shrink it. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to stay sane. It's been about a month now. My symptoms haven't got worse. So I'm trying to hold on to that as well because from what I've read, 
sinus and nasal cancers are pretty fast growing so I would imagine that within a month you know there would be more symptoms and signs um, and the fact that my nose doesn't block is kind of keeping me sane right now um, but yeah, because it's one-sided, like, I just can't understand it, because to me, if you get hay fever, if you get allergies, or if you get sinus problems, surely it's going to affect the whole of your face, um, and I've tried googling this, but I'm just getting more and more stressed out, and I'm not getting any answers from it, so I thought, right, Sherelle, you're not doing this again, so I've booked in to see an ENT, I'm going to go, I'm going to get my reassurance, hopefully, um and then I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go because I can't I can't live like this like it's ridiculous like it's just really bad but the pressure and everything and just the achiness around here is awful so yeah if you are somebody that it also worries about this um please comment below and make me feel slightly less alone in this uh weird problem that I have going on um and uh, yeah, because my mum was like, oh, like, uh, bless her, she's trying to reassure really me. She was like, oh, yeah, but I get that sometimes. It switches from nostril to nostril. And I'm like, yeah, that's great. But mine's not even switching. It's like, it's, it's just in one nostril. Um, so, yeah, I think it's important to realise as well that when we read about, like, a blockage in the nose, like, I think we think, oh, my God, I've got a blockage. But I think a true blockage would be, like, it would be blocked 24 seven and like nothing would change it. You know what I mean? So yeah, uh, I'm still gonna try, I'm gonna try and enjoy my day today. Um, even though I'm feeling like crap mentally and physically. Um, so yeah guys, this is just me talking about my nose. <coughs> oh dear. Um, so yeah, I mean, if, if you guys have had this, please let me know because I'm kind of like, I am. I'm freaking out about it. I'm acting like calm, but I'm not. I am freaking out about it. Um, and I'm trying to, like, do all the stuff that I learned in therapy. But my mind is getting the better of me today. And those days happen. That's the thing with health anxiety. Sometimes you can, like, grasp it and you can you can get rid of it. Sometimes you can't. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to stop, stop blabbling now. And hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video. And I will see you again soon. Bye.